My name is Jade, uh, I'm 18, I've been a vegan for 10 months and there's something that's been really bothering me, well not bothering me, but it's been on my mind about this vegan community and I'd like to bring uh, light to the situation and start a conversation about it. Um, yeah, I freaking hate long intros so let's uh, get right into it, why not? Now I believe that every vegan acts from a pure place, a place of wanting to stop uh, exploitation, torture and rape of animals, animal agriculture, um, diminishing the beauty of our planet by deforestation and, and uh, depletion of water, for example, and the fact that people are putting things into their body, consuming it, while thinking it is healthy for them, while it's actually degrading their health. Once you figure this out, and you've read the facts, you've read the reports, you've read the, the studies, it, you want to scream every time you see people not knowing that this is happening and con contributing to it. So. I understand that some vegans act the way they act, and I do think that they come over, come, come across as a bully, as a preacher, as an aggressive person. I understand, and I understand where these people are coming from. But I believe this, I believe our new generation of young vegans has the opportunity to change the way people look at veganism. And this, and you might not deem this as very important, but if you think about it, the better of an image people are going to have about vegans and veganism, the less hesitant people are going to be to making the change, which is so fucking important, which is the thing we're most, most passionate about to ourselves. So what is the best way to go about this? Now, I've been thinking about this, and so far my conclusion has been a person will only make a change and keep up that change once they want to make that change from within themselves. If they feel threatened, forced, bullied into it, it's not going to be upkept sustainably if you understand where I'm coming from. These people might, might, might try the vegan message, the vegan lifestyle, or they will get very angry at every possible vegan in the future, uh, spreading hate about this lifestyle. But I don't believe it's the right way. You can, you can enlighten people, you can motivate people to make this change by themselves on their own account you can show them the way you can show them how how well this lifestyle is treating you but i believe if people feel forced and judged into it it might be effective but i don't think it's the best way now mind you i think every vegan that's doing something to spread the message is fucking great everybody do it in your own way but think about what that best way actually is if that makes sense now also, if you're a vegan and you're in a community where there are not that many vegans, if you live in LA, for example, great, you have so many restaurants, but for example, I live in a little village in Holland, and I'm like the alien here, I have one vegan friend, and that's it. A lot of people see vegan as, vegans as strange hippies, which in a way we maybe are, and they don't understand where we come from, and that's completely fine. I've been doing this thing lately where I've been trying to be the best vegan and the best person I can possibly be to influence the people around me. Now what I mean, um, I'm eating a very, very good diet right now, a lot of whole foods, uh, all the carbs you need, make sure you, you eat enough calories, uh, make sure I have an active lifestyle, because I can be a couch potato uh, fast food vegan, but, but then you're not going to be the best image of what a vegan is. It's great that you're reducing harm already, but you can do even better if you show people this is how your body can be thriving when you live this way. And what I've also been doing is um, I've been showing kindness to as much people as I can. I, I, I've, I love helping people, I love just generally being nice to people, because then you, you, turn, you change it from being that strange vegan fuck that just screams at you when you try to eat the burger to that fucking cool chick that happens to be a vegan that is actually quite sensible and quite smart so maybe she's not so kombucha and maybe I will research this if you understand what I mean so um, a lot of vegans may think that I'm a bit too passive in the way I act and that's fine you're entitled to your opinion and we can we can argue about it in the comments which I'll talk about later but when I'm with my friends and they eat their their burgers and their eggs and fast food of animal origin, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna judge them out loud. I'm not gonna 
to tell them how my diet is better than theirs. I'm not going to tell them how it's killing them. I'm going to be there and sit and eat my vegan food. And once they open up and come to me and ask me, Hey Jade, why do you do this? Why is it like this? I will give them all the, all the, all the information they need. Concise, informed, um, rational. And then maybe also a bit uh, the ethical side, so the emotional side. And make them see, give them re the resources to see where to find this thing that is veganism. How to learn that it's actually fucking great. I've never felt better. <laughs> My life changed so much for the better. But th th if I talk about that, this video is going to take ages. But inspire people. Make them see how good being a vegan makes you feel. And this might be feel like a lot of a, a heavy burden. Like, why should I do this? I'm already contributing by not eating these products you can do more you can always do more and it's great because it doesn't take that much effort if you're just doing your best to be the best you you can be you're going to be more happy regardless and this way or you might even inspire people in the process and i think that's fucking that's amazing so this is what i thought i hope it came across properly the way i wanted it to if you don't agree with me fucking great please please argue with me in the comments but we're going to argue this way. We're going to argue with facts, personal experiences. We're going to be polite. We're going to, you can agree to disagree, that's fine. But let's be open about it. Let's be open, let's be polite. Because this conversation mostly begins with, Die vegans come and you're all fucking assholes, da da da. And then vegans coming back, all meat eaters should die because this, this and this. Before I was vegan, I was a meat eater. I ate fucking bacon, bacon, eggs cheese every day i made the change myself once i realized this is not the way maybe these people are just people that haven't seen the way yet and if we are aggressive to them maybe they will close off and never see the way so i hope you agree with me and you don't want to slit my throat right now but <laughs> thank you very much for making it this far um if you want i'll make more videos because um, i have a lot of opinions and uh, Sometimes they're interesting, sometimes uh, I make a tit of myself, but but I'd like to make more videos if you if you like to watch, if 10 people find this amusing, find this interesting, provokes their thoughts, great, that's, that's all I need. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time, maybe? Side note, let's take a moment to appreciate my uh, setup. So as you can see, there's a rainbow colored pencil holding open a safe. So that my camera can be in an angle. Because fuck no, I don't have a tripod. Standing on a shitload of things. So, yeah. Professional!